ladies and gentlemen, the world's only white male comedian from the Two White Guys podcast, it's Jason Horton. It's a podcast inside a podcast. Oh my God. I know. Think about it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. Mm-hmm. How's it going, Jason? Uh, things are going well. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. We've done a lot of comedy together. Did a lot of comedy together. We are attempted a lot of comedy together. Are you guys going to tell inside stories and then I'm going to uh, be like, remember that one fuckers. joke? Remember yeah. that one joke where we slipped Oof. on all those banana peels? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, good but times. Then we right? realized we're going broke so fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. We stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All well, right. You know. I have a couple questions of my own. Okay. okay. Um, one is, like, the boring question is, uh, what was okay. the last great place you ate? I think the interesting question is, what was the last really shitty place you ate? Oh. Like, what was not necessarily just bad, but disappointing, where you were kind of psyched to go get it, and you ate it, and you were oh, like, oh. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Um, uh, in in uh, My girlfriend was so stoked, and she's like, you're going to love this, you're going to love this. And I forget, uh, it's in... Um, I don't know if it's in like Chinatown or, or Koreatown, and it's it's a uh, like sumo wrestlers eat. It's a lot of meat, and it's cooked like in a really hot water. Sh- oh. oh, shabu shabu oh, shabu shabu. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we and you had to put your name on a on you know on a, on a list. You had to like pretty much get there, put your name on a list, mm-hmm. and there's no cell phones. It was like a very kind of like it was a very nice. Place. Wait, 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 no cell phones. You couldn't use cell phones while you were there. Are you sure you weren't at a hospital? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sh- I, I, you couldn't use cell phones, and the, the line was, like, insane. And uh, we got there, and it was just – everything was very kind of, like, uh, like very structured. They were really nice, but – and it was good, but I was just, like – I would How never... long did you wait? Well, we were – we put on it, – it, it's closed, like, from – until, like, lunch, and then opens again at 5.30. So you All put right. your name on a list that's it's outside. Um, it's a lot like a club – uh, in a way, I guess. Uh, so I was actually really like. My so you, like, you guys oh. did a bunch of coke before you went. <laughs> did right. a, a, an average yeah. amount, not yeah. a lot. <laughs> uh, right. And I was, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. a little. So I was a little. It was. I think it was the. What is it called? Shabu shabu. It was the shabu shabu house. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not that it was bad or anything like that, but I just wouldn't go through. I wouldn't jump through all those hoops. Right. It seems like a lot of work for. Yeah. What and plus, it was. you have to cook your own food, right? Uh, essentially, yeah. I just have a tiny bone to pick with any. You don't like y- this. <sighs> Korean barbecue, it's like, I'm probably going to fuck this up. You know what I mean? What? Well, I, I feel like but someone you cook, more qualified. you cook so much stuff at home. Don't oh, you think you can nail this? not me. American. I'm going to make it oh, awesome. <laughs> I'm using the surrogate. The greatest, the greatest the surrogate. country I mean, ever. I'm going to fuck it up, but you're probably going to get it right. <laughs> I'll probably do okay with it. But I think one would be inclined to just sort of fuck that. I mean, leave it's it true. in the, what do they call the water? Shabu shabu water? I guess so, yeah. I mean, I've gone to, Leave my, my girlfriend loves, uh, loves Korean barbecue, and, and I do like that, too. Um, you like doing it? Like, it's like... There's something There's something kind of therapeutic about yeah, the Yeah, there process. is. There's something about the sizzling sound and the yeah. smoke, but at yeah. the same time, I just get a little bit out of shape. Like, when my food comes, mm-hmm. I want to eat it, but it's not ready yet. Lazy American. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. True facts. Uh, um, and the, probably yeah. the best... Um, I oh, yeah, had a lean cuisine that was microwaved mm, perfection recently. Really? Ooh. It was good. It was did Salisbury you let it steak. Stand Salisbury. For one and a half to two minutes. <laughs> I did. I did. It was a well, standard. It. Uh, That's it why it was Salisbury so good. Steak, yeah. Salisbury steak, mixed veg. Do you have to cut the little hole in the uh, in the plastic uh, there? Here's the secret. Oh. It's fork. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I just stick. Uh, yeah, there we go. No, no, I'll tell you what I'm excited about because yeah. I'm such <laughs> uh, I'm such white trash. Uh, I went to a Golden Corral. <laughs> Oh, good wow. for you. <laughs> for the first time, I was visiting my grandmother in Florida, and she was like, and I was that's, like, yeah, I'll go to this place. You go, and it yeah. was, I mean, it was awesome. They had cotton candy. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Really? You went to Golden Corral because you were visiting your grandma? Oh, yeah. Does anyone yeah. ever go to Golden Corral for a different reason? I think Golden uh, Corral is just yeah. buoyed by the American yeah. grandma population. Yeah, bro. <laughs> well, they were Taking their true. children and grandchildren. <laughs> I, I th- you know what I think, and this is this might get too real for your podcast, Ooh. but I think it's this is like, it's going to be depressing, but people like in in, in Florida that they're like, yeah. hey, let's reward ourselves working hard all week by just like it's there's, it's all you can eat. So let's just gorge ourselves yeah, and sure. our kids right. and like th- let us let this be happy. And like I love eating garbage. Don't get me wrong. I've you know I've been yeah. really happy. I like been, a buffet, Jason. Yeah, no, I like a buffet. I do, yeah. and I was. It w- it was good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I'd take that over the the shabu shabu house. Um, <laughs> it's just way less pretentious, and they have cotton candy. Well, 
Uh, that's great. So they fresh on. making the cotton candy the oh, whole yeah. time. Oh yeah, they have machine? a machine. That's great. On the and they have a, uh, a that's like crazy. A chocolate fountain. Or can you what? take? Wow. Do they have wow. any meats on a stick? What I'm getting at is, can you take oh, other oh, foods to what? the cotton candy machine oh, or the chocolate like fountain? A, yeah. No, I don't know. I mean, I get, you know, it's the next level. Are you gonna get level kicked stuff. out if you're sticking steak in the chocolate fountain? You know, I don't think they'll ever kick you out. It's going yeah, to crowd. That's true. There's, it's you tough. cannot yeah. be underdressed. Maybe there. if you it's only eat yeah. lettuce. If you sat there and they only see, saw you going up and getting lettuce, then they'd be like, nah, man. They just paid drag full, you like, out. Nah, you're ruining our image. We did see that guy a few weeks ago who was suing some restaurant because it was an all-you-can-eat restaurant and they kicked him out. They were like, you cannot. You, I mean, he was what you're the, saying he is was the that fattest dude you've ever he seen. He did not stay until he ate all he cared Yeah, to exactly. Eat. No, he could eat more, <laughs> and they, they were like, you cannot eat anymore. You have to leave. And so yeah. he sued them because it's all you can eat. It was yeah. not a man. No. It was an <laughs> inhuman eating machine. <laughs> yes, exactly. And he showed them because he's going to live a long time. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yes, he's going to be around a long time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God. They were you healthy. can see him getting type 2 diabetes <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the static photo in the paper. Because he's going to win that money, and he's just going to buy more food. <laughs> That's true. Oh, okay. God, <laughs> I'm gonna use this two thousand dollar settlement. Yeah. The sad part is he's Slurpees. gonna show up at the same place. <laughs> he's gonna be like, "Here I am, ten dollars. Here we go." I don't know why this guy is all of a sudden. I a yeah, redneck. I just uh, I I have a vague memory of him being uh, from such an area. You all know, right. Jason. Actually, where you're from, you're from New Jersey. New Jersey, and then like kind of upstate, like outside of New York City. Okay. Upstate, what know? do you miss? Yeah. Oh, well, I was just back there. I, I don't really miss, honestly, I don't miss much. I wish I moved out to L.A. sooner. Sorry, I miss my family. <laughs> hey, um, I, everyone that's face, watching you probably feel Face New that. York, yeah, no, bam! I, mean, <laughs> and I have no regrets. I just wish I did it sooner. But, you know, I love going out and seeing my family. And I love that kind of, like, when I go there, I'm not, there's not a lot of the trappings. Even though when mm-hmm. I did go to New York, I did do some, like, YouTube-based stuff or whatever. I had sure. a meeting or two. But uh, mostly there's no, I don't have the trappings like I do here where you can, like, literally fill your day up. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. You ever have it where you're just like, oh, man, I'm so busy. But if there's, like, you want to just fill up every single you know, hour mm-hmm. with whatever it is. and uh, yeah. yeah. So that's something I like when I go back there. What about food-wise? Is there anything you miss? Like, you love the disco fries oh, at the oh, Jersey oh. Diner or um, something uh, like that, maybe? Uh, chicken, chicken Parm Heroes. Oh, yeah. I always get when I go back there. Uh, chicken Parm Hero. Okay. Yeah, okay. Chicken Parm Hero, Meatball Parm Hero. Uh, so a lot of the a lot of the Italian genre stuff, that, like okay, uh, Dunkin sure. Donuts. Oh right, like, yeah, like your Dunkin' Donuts, pretty yeah. Pretty hard. White Castle. Oh yeah. I go crazy on. The they got White, White Castles in Jersey. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that's yeah. where that's where Harold and Kumar takes place. All right. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> where did you think Harold and Kumar took place? Yeah, come in on, Wichita, Drew. Kansas, I guess. <laughs> Baltimore. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it, it's it's the wire I, meets oh, Harold I went and Kumar. Back there, and I yeah. probably gained like I was there for probably like nine or ten days, and I probably gained like about fifteen pounds. Sure. I kind of do right. that when I go back to Missouri. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, so Chicken Parm Hero and Meatball Hero. Right. Yeah. Any place to get one yeah, comparable here? Out here? Uh, I, I honestly like. I haven't found. Um, I really haven't found anything I like. Yeah. However, sometimes with me with like pizza, even around here, I'm mm-hmm. like sometimes like Papa John's to me is just like for the trouble. I mean, crispy crust I like. Okay. Um, I I don't know if they have it, meatball parm hero, but uh. Wait, but wait, what's crispy crust? It's a it's a it's a it's a pizza place. Really? But it's pretty good. Do you know about yeah. P- uh, I, I've heard the name. I've never. I, yeah. Where is it exactly? Um, well, it's in the ghetto. Relatively. Oh. No, right. it's not in the ghetto. <laughs> not in the ghetto. Um, they can't afford it. <laughs> Uh, but is, I'm, it ex- I'm, is it an expensive <laughs> pizza? No, but it is like like sort of on the go- gourmet tip more than like Papa John's would be. Got oh, it. sure. Uh, but I like pop. I mean, I like that stuff. Like I like Papa John's. Have uh, we talked about the uh, Papa John's one and a half times through? The well women? done, they call it. Yeah. No. What is it? What? Oh, it's, it's like a. They you just ask for it well done, and what they do is they once it, it comes out of the oven, they, put it, they push it in halfway and let it go through again. And friends, oh, that's the way to do it. Is the only way to do it. I mean, obviously, it takes longer for you to get your pizza, but I'm just excited because totally we're gonna have to pay 14 cents more for our pizzas because of Obamacare. You hear about that bit? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's for real. The owner of Papa John's is like, oh, we're gonna have to charge 14 cents more for pizzas because of Obamacare. Are you shitting me? No, <laughs> for real. <laughs> This is a very political, political yeah, episode. It's political. Good, I'm good getting for political, you, guys. So yeah. John <laughs> Schnatter. Is that his name? Uh, I, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so no chicken parm hero? Yeah. Out here? No. Because there's I, a few places for uh, uh, 
cheesesteaks, like Victor Jr.'s in Culver okay. City. I know oh, yeah. Jersey yeah. Mike's uh, down in one of the beach cities. I don't remember I, which I've one. I've had Jersey Mike. Yeah, it's 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 fine. You know, it's, okay. it's weird it's out okay, here. Like right? I tend to eat like. Uh, well, there's a Sizzler by me, so I've gone to Sizzler before. I just <laughs> sure, don't care. Right. But like I'm on this like I've been like like a, you know eating kale and like juicing and like mm. kind of being on more of that. T- I'm getting older, guys, so I'm kind of like <laughs> more. Uh, so you're one of these kale juicing guys, is what kind you're saying? Kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Yeah. So you're a kale juice guy in L.A., but a chicken parm hero guy. When it's you're like on I'm vacation. a like a. I'm in. I'm a ch- chicken parm hero on the streets, but a kale juicing in the sh- sheets. How does that? Work? <laughs> you know that old saying. Yeah. It's like that old saying. Yes, it it's is. like you. Yes. It's like liquor and kale. You've never been, been sicker. Chicken between the sheets. Arm it's a lot in of the, harm. on the streets. Yep. <laughs> it's the old So just remember old that. It's right. a catchy old saying. Yeah. yeah. Just hashtag it. Yeah, it just yeah. rolls off the tongue, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's actually kind of disappointing. I cuz seriously, like I that is a contentious issue whether or not you can get like a decent I agree. cheesesteak or a yeah. decent Well, I mean, hero, yeah, I, I mean, guess. It, I feel like I don't, regional is there cuisine a place to get disco fries here. There probably is. I don't know. There's if they probably would like call a disco fire fries, fries uh, truck or something. Fries. I know there's a poutine yes. place. You know where it is? Well, there um, is a poutine Kitchen place. 24, I think, has disco fries. Kitchen oh, really? Where were we just call them? I think uh, they have. Nick was over there. I yeah, I've visited the night, actually. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. My favorite place, I mean, I mean, nobody's asking me, but I'm going to answer oh, you. But my favorite place, asking. since I've been coming to L.A. Mm-hmm. for this kind of food, uh, and it's always, um, anytime somebody brings it up, I'm like, yes, I will go there. And I always try to bring it up first if it's in that kind of realm uh mm-hmm. is swingers on uh yeah. on, on beverly so the one on beverly not the one in santa monica no no I, th- that one's I great one. too but okay. uh i actually went there uh, after an o- a hollywood audition oh whoa yeah, are you but saying I, that jason horton went on a hollywood audition <laughs> yep. oh my uh so um but mostly that one um i used to live kind of near there and i just love that place i think the prices yeah. they play the jukebox great the, i love the food they have yeah. like if i feel like something like vegetarian or vegan if i'm feeling like that uh <laughs> or if i want to lie to some girl and be like yeah yeah baby i'm vegan I'm vegetarian <laughs> let's just have sex uh, uh, <laughs> if we go to swingers can can we fuck if we yeah. go to swingers <laughs> i did i did uh, i did go on a date uh like a first or second date with a girl maybe it was a first official date and i we did go to swingers and then we did something else but i did have sex with her Sure. So there you go. Yeah, That's right. the that, endorsement. Yeah. Go yeah. So swingers, swingers is a late. really great yeah. place because, you know, if you're into the happen. same music, if you're into, like, a cool place and, and the, the jukebox is great and the food's really good and, like, reasonably pr- priced. Uh, I, I, I agree. Like I actually – I like swingers, yeah. I went to swingers a handful of times when I first moved here when yeah. I was, like, super broke. Yeah. And don't do that because what's going to happen is you're going to be, like – you know, twelve dollars for a salad, which I don't have no idea if they have a twelve dollar salad. Right. But like that strikes me <laughs> as like a moderately expensive salad, yes, but right. not like encounter at the airport, because apparently sure. in the future salads cost eighteen dollars. Yeah. True, like yeah. really simple salads. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. guys ever been there? Encounter? No, I, the, I've never been to. Uh, it's oh, the, it's the, the weird thing the crazy because it was always been uh, under construction. Anyway, All right, anyway. so now it's so yeah. don't go to swingers uh, when you just moved here and you're broke. Like, <laughs> Because I actually was down on swingers for a while because I was like, yeah, it's good, but, like, I wouldn't pay that much for food. Turns out food's just a little more expensive in L.A., and swingers yeah. is reasonably priced. It's, it is, considering. Yeah. I mean, and it could charge more, I think. Well, like, they no, definitely. Good. Or something like that. Yes. Right, 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 right. And uh, so I gave it another chance is basically what happened. I went back about two years ago. Yeah. When you had just so much money in your <laughs> pocket. Well, <laughs> just, as you know, I pockets. do go on a lot of Hollywood auditions. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I, so, I see the hat. I, yeah. mean, I know what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, before we move on, let me ask you, we had a couple Twitter questions for you. Okay. I actually uh, have, might have one, too. Ooh, exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at Wally ML says... Where to go for a good cheap date? I don't think that's exactly what he said. It no, was, it was he, lots of hashtags and blah. Uh, exactly let me find exactly what he said. But uh, <laughs> but in the meantime, where to go uh, for a good cheap date? Uh, uh, now I'm assuming that like you don't want to you want to go to some place like above like a swingers. Let's okay, so okay. if this okay. if this uh, changes things, L.A. foodie Jason Horton, three words, two hashtags, L.A. cheap date. Hashtag LA, hashtag if you hashtag if you want it. if if you want a snowball's chance in hell and having sex afterwards yes um and you're yeah. not mad. everybody wants this uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I think, here's what I think of I think of my one of my other favorite places El Compadre on Sunset oh, okay uh, because okay. It's, it's it's essentially a Mexican place yeah. it's always crowded it's mm-hmm. very old school it has a really it has a nice dark vibe yeah you're yeah playing yeah. like the live kind of mariachi music and I think you can like not go broke I mean. If you order a zillion margaritas, but still you can get drunk on one margarita. Yeah, that's true. So if you need yeah. to get a girl drunk to 
Maybe, <laughs> well, maybe. So here, how's this? Right, sure. Take her yeah. on a really long walk, like six hours. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, you sure. know that it's been at least six hours so since start she ate. at the beach and Don't walk give her any food until she drinks that margarita. Yeah. Right, then she'll be wasted. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's a great plan, guys. And I then, like this. This yeah. is good. Yeah. Uh, that, that and the other places, and this is a little more expensive, but I, I always okay. found they had like uh, those have good Groupons for this place called Luna Park on yeah. La Brea. Oh yeah, yeah. Love. I mean, that's I've the kind never of place been. I, it, I've it's heard good. a lot. It's You've very been yeah, I've been reasonable, there. It's great. and it has that kind of like, oh, you're not like a complete and total. I mean, I'm just kind of like this is like real life stuff. Like you're not a total and complete. You somewhat respect me. <laughs> um, and the food is good, and it's reasonably priced. Are you saying that the staff actually they just weren't dicks to you? Well, no, no. It, it is actually a nice. It is yeah. a nice place, and it's like a nice menu, and uh, it's probably more than even El Compadre or Swingers, but not that much more. Okay. Where it looks like, oh, this should be more, and it's just I not. got it. Yeah, and it's in you know La Brea, so it's just like we're on the West um, Miracle Mile. Okay. Well, cool. That's <laughs> actually a couple great. Yeah. No, it's good. Yeah. All, no, all it's these good. restaurants have paid me to say this, so I'm just going through my. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sure all right, well, here's, here, here's our other one uh, from uh, F.R. Demper. Um, said, saw you in a great improv show at Bang with Kate Walsh and Todd Stashwick a few months ago. It was rad. Now, that's obviously, question. that's not a question. Oh. So, yeah. two at Fur Demper, come on. <laughs> Uh, it was a really great, it was a really uh, amazing show and people I just met. And uh, Kate oh. Walsh, you should have been from I.O. Yeah, yeah. She does, Remember she Walsh. was on TV. Uh, I don't know yeah. her from that. I barely know her from I.O., but uh, my family back home were like, oh my God, we love her. And I'm like, I don't know. She's, but it was uh, It was uh, really great. I have one here if you want yeah, to read yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Lay it on me. Um, this one is from Channing Tatum. Say oh. what? Uh, no, it's from, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's from, uh, uh, uh uh, Alexander Cox, yeah. Xander JDC, okay. uh, Jason Horton, LA Foodie, best burger spot, and just two parts. Oh, and shit. why does Johnny Rockets make happy faces with ketchup? I'm actually interested in the for you guys to tell me what's the best uh, burger spot. Do you have spot. a favorite? I feel like this is like the kind of like the oldest. We have uh, we tough. have a best yeah, burgers in LA yeah. list. It's a top yeah. ten list. It's actually getting a little bit of play on Twitter at the moment because somebody else asked and it got retweeted a bunch. Yeah. Uh, on that list, the the top two are Pie and Burger in Pasadena and the Apple Pan in in West LA. I love both Pico. those places. Those are um, great. We need I to do. Pie, I had the one in pa- the pie, it, was, it was great. Yeah, it, Pie and Burger's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I had it once. We need to do a revised list. In fact, yeah. I think we need to break it down into categories. Is the real problem because you got your classic burgers, Apple Pan and Pie and Burger are classics. And you They're have like pub Route burgers. 66. Yeah, and you got your pub burgers. Yeah. And you got your father's office craziness. Right. Like, it's hard to compare them. So, There's short kind of answer beasts. is Apple Pan. I don't think there's a better burger in L.A. In yeah. fact, I don't think there's a better burger in America. It's oh. my very, very Apple favorite. Apple Pan? Yeah, wow. it's my favorite. I might have to seek it it's out this week. It's pretty weekend. damn good. Yeah. You know where I th- what? Uh, and this is like, what do you, I want to know what you guys think of this. Um, I think, and I've said this on Twitter or Facebook, and people just like lose their minds. I think In-N-Out is really overrated. I mean, it's not bad. Oh, it's on okay. our top ten list, and... Yeah, I don't know if you were there for this conversation. I don't know, but I actually got mad at myself for putting it on the top ten <laughs> because <laughs> In and Out is good. In and Out is I not a good. top ten burger in L.A. and it is on our top ten list. And so basically, I'm I'm invalidating one entry on that list by saying this Ooh. right now because I went back after that list was made to In and Out and I gave it a bunch of chances. Mm-hmm. And it's good, and it's one of those things you crave sometimes, and nothing it's else good is going to for the if it, in a yeah. price category. And oh, it's sure, going to scratch yeah. the itch of the in and out craving, yeah. and nothing else will. That's right. I was actually just sort of overall disappointed because I don't think it's as good as we would all have ourselves believe. And it's got religious sayings in the uh... right. <laughs> yeah, well, that's well, a different that's, that's story the only, entirely. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, but but. Uh, yeah, I just think it's. I think it's fine, but people are like, oh, it's the best. It's so people good. are it's fanatic. The town. They're fanatic about it. Yeah. You're right. I, I think that people. Something people always say is they're like, oh, Five Guys, way better than In and Out. Well, that's horseshit. There's this weird like. I don't know why because they tie they're the just two together. Roughly the same in quality, I think. I mean, they're not even that very uh, similar. Five Guys. You don't is think so? kind of, I think Five Guys is a little thicker. The burger. Yeah. Exactly. No, no, no. It's I don't, a different style is what of burger. I mean. Uh, yeah. I'd put them roughly on the same level. Okay, I could see that. Yeah, I mean, I like In and Out a little better than I like Five Guys. And but I just but that's a fast food burger. That's what I'm saying. Is there needs to be right. categories right. of burgers? Yep. Hard to compare. It's not All fight. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Peace, guys. Stop fighting. Peace with hamburgers. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think this means it's time for our next segment. It's time for LA Foodie Approved. <laughs> 